This one's quite a journey up into the mountains, and you'd better have a four-wheel drive and some good hiking boots if you wish to reach it. I think you'll like this gold mine, though. It's been sealed off by ice for a long time. So, we've been watching and waiting for many years as the ice slowly, very slowly, started to melt away. And then finally, the opportunity presented itself. Definitely one of the more challenging mines we've entered. We had to hammer away a lot of ice to be able to squeeze in, and it was very tight even with that. Now, it's, uh, I'm hunched over completely, and you can see we're gonna get in the crawl zone up there on the ice. Um, got the waders on, so I'm gonna try scooting on my butt and uh, see if that'll work. My buddy went ahead, he's crawling, but I'm gonna try scooting. There are not even words to describe how much this sucks. That is solid ice, and scrambling over this has been absolutely miserable. It's been exhausting. I'm soaking wet with freezing water. It's uh, got, it's embedded, the ice is embedded with sharp rocks that have caved off the back. I mean, this is freaking miserable. Anybody that wants to get into mine exploring should definitely not start with a mine like this because you'll never want to do it again. That's what we've come through on the way in. It looks nice and fluffy like snow, but trust me, that is freaking miserable. That is solid. See? In case you don't believe me, that is solid ice. Horrendous. Uh, I'm gonna keep going though. I wanna know what's back here. The flashlight looks kinda cool like that, huh? It's just illuminating the ice. So I have finally reached a point where the uh, ice has diminished enough to expose an area to walk along the side. You can see the rail there, which looks pretty cool. Uh, even the ice has kind of a cool pattern uh, looking ahead there. That's where we're going. It looks like I can sort of go back and forth across to uh, walk here. At least that's my hope. See, uh, looks like an airline on the side right there. But the ice has cool patterns back here. See what I mean? That's pretty cool looking. And then looking back, that pattern is repeated. Pretty cool looking. I'm gonna leave the camera running for a little while at least. Um, Cause I think, yeah, it looks like I break out of this right up there. Thank God. That was not fun at all. I sure hope this one was worth it. There it is. The last of the ice, thank God. Oh, so much better. So much better. Cool looking track in here. Nice beefy uh, ties and everything. This is pretty cool. And just stretches out as far as I can see ahead. I've been hiking through the miserableness for a while through here. Uh, you can see on the water line how high this gets. It was actually much higher when I started. Uh, possible vein right there. Regardless, I have arrived where an ore chute was based on how that looks up there. And by the amount of piled up jumbled timber or the boards on the ground in front of me here. This miserable, awful mine continues there and doesn't look like it gets any better. So of course, let's keep going. I've been hiking in from that way and it was a very, very long walk through that. I've turned the camera on because I've arrived at a junction with the water coming from there. And there's also a drift running to the left here or straight, if 
you want to look at it like that. There, looks like there's some dynamite boxes right there. Bunch of ventilation pipe right here. The drift keeps going, or the attic. I'm not sure if this is a drift or an attic, so I'm not sure where it goes yet. Anyway, it keeps running straight. Bunch of dynamite boxes stacked up here. They have the stored stuff in them after they are used for dynamite. Not sure which. Uh, there is a something up ahead. Wonder if this was dynamite storage. Danger. No smoking matches or open lights, and it looks like it ends right here. Yep. I would say this was explosive storage. So, let's head back and start going down that adit or drift. I guess this was a drift and the actually adit ran off to the right. So, what I am trying to say is we'll just keep following the adit. We just came from looking down that section. I am back at the junction and I noticed something interesting here where it looks like the bottom of this box was full of nuts or screws or something like that. And now they're all, actually I have to say it's kind of beautiful. Beautifully outlined in the mud here. Looks kind of cool. Meanwhile, we've got the added running off this direction. So we'll head this way and see what fresh torments await us. We've got another junction here. You can see the rails take off to the left and to the right. The large tank right here. If I can film it without falling down. Got that uh, wooden barrel back there. That's really cool to see that. I'm actually amazed that's still intact in this mine given how wet it is back here. And a chamber running off here. Guess we'll look back there. Uh, all water's coming down from there. There's an ore chute right here. Huge timbers. My buddy just around the bend, that's the light you're seeing. I was just standing right there. And I come back in that little chamber we saw. Wood, dynamite boxes, ventilation pipe. Don't know if there's any more back here. And that's the end right there. So, storage for junk, I guess. That water is pouring down from whatever's up on top of that ore chute. Pretty impressive. It's stuck in the mud right now, but all right, just got out. Out of the mud. And it's at least quieter up ahead, but still pretty muddy. Wow, this is hard going. I'm gonna walk on the rail. Can't tell what this is up here yet. Some of the timbers have failed here. As you can see. Ah, wow. There is a big blower right there. How cool is that? Sorry guys, I'm having a hard time walking in the mud. It's that sucky mud that is difficult to walk through. So it looks like they had a little uh, workbench here. So maybe they uh, had taken the blower here to be worked on. Otherwise it seems kind of odd, it would just be sitting there, but you never know. That's pretty cool.
Huh. And then you've got some interesting wispy, uh, I guess that would be mold. It's like uh, cobwebs. But I'd be very surprised if there were spiders this deep inside the mine. Oh, I just noticed you can actually see a stamp right there, but I can't make it out. Maybe a Buffalo, Buffalo Forge Company, I think. I can't see what it says below that. But that's pretty cool. I've got one of those old school timbers I like where they just cut the tree down from outside and slap it in place. I don't know why I'm a fan of that, but I think it looks cool, I guess. We're looking back at what we came through. A little pocket ahead, overhead. And speaking of a head, this is what we've got head. Interesting uh, shape to the attic here. Looks like it just keeps running ahead for a while. Colors are interesting back here. See what I mean? Looks like sulfides. More timber supports. It looks kind of the same for a while. So I'm gonna turn the camera off again and I'll probably pick up back there if it gets interesting. I've come to another junction here, so I'm resuming filming. The water and such is flowing from that direction, so I suspect, actually there's another junction right there. See the rail right there? Anyway, the water and such are coming from there, so I suspect that is the main way to go, but we'll see where this goes really quickly. It's dry, so it probably doesn't go back too far. Wow. Doesn't look like it goes back very far at all. That's it. And they actually have a rail running back here too. It's kind of surprising. Huh. Okay, well, let's go back and hit that one next going off to the right. This one here. This one looks like it might have gone somewhere at one time, but it's all backfilled and blocked off. There's some boards and bits and pieces of wood back here. I don't see anything too interesting yet. It looks like that just stopped right there anyway, actually. I don't know if we're missing much here. So, let's continue down the main creek. Oh, excuse me, I mean the main attic. Oh, wow. That just is a long, straight, featureless nothing. So, I'm going to turn the camera off, spare you me sloshing through the mud. I will resume filming when I hit the next interesting thing. We've hit the next interesting thing. So there's a lot of interesting stuff piled along the side here. Look at all those pipe fittings right there. It's like some old gloves right there. Dynamite boxes. Some kind of tank. Oh, that's a cool wooden barrel. That's a different shape than I'm used to seeing. That's interesting. Huh. That's a little skinnier and taller than I'm used to seeing. Bunch of hand tools back here. This is neat. Got a pick right there. Another wooden barrel. Another wooden barrel. Another pick. Uh, maybe fuse cord up there. It's pretty decayed. It's hard to tell. Looks like a looks like a single jacking drill bit right there, actually. And possibly right there in front of me. It's my friend coming up behind me. These barrels are full of... I can't tell. Those are so rusty, it's hard to tell what those are. That one's empty. 
and there's a bunch of spikes in that one. How cool are these picks? That's really, really neat. There's some good stuff here, man. Yeah. There is indeed. And then the add it keeps running ahead this way. Another long featureless section. This one's a little bit more colorful than the last one, as you can see. I do hear rushing water somewhere off in the distance, but I'll spare you a walk there and I'll pick up when it gets interesting again. Okay, I turned the camera on sooner than I expected because look at the vein right here. How clear is that? I mean, you couldn't ask for a more clear vein than what's running right there. And interestingly, they took out this top section of the adit, or back as the miners call it. See a nice quartz vein running right there. And we followed it to here and then stopped. But that's pretty quartzy through there. See what I mean? That's impressive. The rushing water is coming from right there. So I'll leave the camera on. It's like a rack for drill steel or something like that. Getting pretty muddy back here again. Another draining ore chute. Look at that woodwork. That is just massive. No exaggeration. That is massive. There's the other side of the ore chute, and this is actually really interesting. The timbers are even bigger here. There's a pulley there, and there's some kind of skip system here. See the skip car here? Here's the bottom of it, and it's full of stuff. And it's right up on that, on the wooden uh, platform right there. You see the, the ladder, the manway there? And that rides up as far as I can see up that way. I've never seen something like this skip before. Yeah. This is really interesting. I mean, I've seen the tool skips before, but I've never seen the, uh, the skip car in the tool skip. So this is a first for me. This is cool. I've always wondered what those looks like. This is really cool. They'll put the tools in here and haul them up. There's that tool skip right there. There's some interesting stuff floating around here in the water. Old dynamite boxes. Over here is a big jumble of dynamite boxes and cable. And penetrant. First time I've seen that before. Some quartz samples. Old shovel here. More spikes back there. More shovels here. Pretty interesting. Bad ground up here, as you can see. You see the remains an ore chute right there, and there's a big stope running up here uh, over my head. Let me get up a little bit, I'll get a better view of that. That's looking up into that stope, as you can see. This is hard filming in here, so bear with me. The uh, attic keeps running ahead past this ore chute here. Tons of stuff down on the ground there. It looks pretty messy. I just came from back there and thought that arch right there was kind of cool. You see the stope carries on through here. There's another arch in front of us right there. And then the adit 
keeps running. Would be another arch right there, possibly. Uh, the attic keeps running back to where it gets pretty wet there. It's resting rock back here. Must have had something good in it for the miners to be working it as intensely as they did. On the ground in front of me, you can see the remains of a pick, which is cool. I love all the hand tools in here. That's really, really neat. Must have been another ore chute right here, based on that twin uh, support. Those twin supports right there. The stope. Actually, looked like I kept running up that way, but no way to get up there now. And then it gets pretty wet here. I see another ore chute up there. I don't see anything else interesting for a little way. I'm going to plunge into the water and push ahead. And I'll pick up again when I get something good. All right, I've arrived at those chutes. I thought it was an A chute, but it's actually chutes plural. As you can see, there's a timber work connected to those. As much as I hated this mine in the beginning, I have to admit, I'm actually starting to like this mine now. There's enough impressive stuff back here that it's won me over. I said that just as I was tripping and possibly throwing the camera in the water, but I haven't fallen down yet, so I'm gonna forgive the mine for that. There's looking up. That goes way up there, wow. That's a good 80 feet or more up there. That's impressive. Yeah, of course, there's the other ore chute here. This is just enormous. It's interesting. It's like they kind of bounce the ore off the side right there. And it would have spilled out here. I hear dripping water up ahead. Looks like we could hopefully get out of the water again. Platform right there. Another ore chute right there. Actually, maybe that's not the end of the water. It just has a bunch of stuff floating in the water. It looks more like that now. Another ore chute up there. Man, there's a ton of junk floating in the water here. Look at this. There's a ton of stuff I'm tripping over too. I'm stumbling all kinds of, over all kinds of timbers back here, which is not fun. Looking overhead, it's all timbered up through here, which is interesting. And I just keep connecting the ore chutes, so probably don't want to think about what's overhead, especially given how rotten everything is. Yeah, I thought this was solid ground. Instead, it's just a bunch of stuff floating in the water. See how that's rippling? I'm not moving the camera. That's what's moving. So that's where the dripping sound was coming from. It's off the end of that ore chute right there. Some stuff shoved back there. Oh, I was wondering what those metal pieces in the side of the ribs of the attic were there to help support the ore chutes. That's clever. Another one there. This chute is plugged. Be nice if it didn't go. When I'm walking under it. Yeah, it's all plugged up. Messy, messy. There's looks like some more quartz there. Obviously, falling to veins. You can actually see it pretty clearly now through there. The water is getting more shallow, which is nice. Another ore chute right there. Told you I was tripping over stuff. That's the kind of thing I'm tripping over. The water is full of it and you can't see anything because it's how murky it is. Looks like just a whole gallery of horse shoots back here. Wow. Ore shoot after ore shoot after ore shoot back here.
That one's not plugged. You see how it looks there. And this is full of ore shoots back here. Looks like we've got another junction right here in front of me. So it looks like the main attic continues straight. Maybe some blast sheets right here. Very dark rock back here. Another little side drift right here. It just stops right there. Got a dynamite box right here. DuPont explosives. That's in really good shape, actually, considering where it is. Another... What's this one? Another DuPont explosive. Looks like 40%. A lot of wood dynamite boxes stacked up here. Looks like DuPont was the brand of choice in this mine. Huh, that one's still loaded. This one's full of dynamite. <laughs> yep, you can still read the uh, label on the side. I'm having him shine his less intense light in so you can read the uh, DuPont on the side of the dynamite right there. That's pretty cool. I don't know if these others have anything in them or not. I'm not really going to toss them aside to find out. Uh, they cracked it open from the bottom. Yeah, it's empty from the bottom. Bunch of timbers stacked up there. More of those cool barrels I like. All right. Oh, now there's a bunch of stuff in there too. All right, now I, I do have to admit, this mine has definitely won me over. That's where we are coming in from. And we still have this ahead of us. Given that the blast sheets are here, I'm thinking this may be getting near the end of this part of the mine. But we'll see. Kind of cool seeing that. I guess that's flowstone on the blast sheets. I have not seen that before. How colorful and cool looking is this? Wow. That is pretty neat. All right, I, I'm gonna admit it, this mine really has won me over as much as I did not like it in the beginning. Keeps running ahead. Got some ladders tossed to the side here. Kind of sulfide-y back here. And what do you know, look at that quartz. Not at all surprised this area was so heavily stoped out. You got the iron, you got the sulfides, you got the quartz. This must have been a good section. It's got all the ingredients they're looking for. That might be the, well, I don't know, never mind. Here, water. I thought that might have been the end, but I guess not. Bunch of dynamite boxes tossed here. Can't tell if that's DuPont still or not. More ladders. Obviously those ladders were for this stoke here. Told you the miners would have been attracted to that rock we were seeing. And I think we might have faced out right there. Let's see. Yeah, that's the face right there. We're done, or at least for this section. A little bit right there. 
that water pouring out of the drill hole right there. And scope. It's all scopey overhead. And there it is, that scope. Extending down, 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 and over there. Gotta admit, this is pretty awesome.